In this video, I want to show you five songs with just four chords from the album Rumours. This is one of the best selling and one of the greatest albums of all time. This is my copy of it, and there are five songs we can do from this. We can do, let's have a look, we can do Second Hand News, uh, that has three chords. We can do Dreams, that has three chords as well. Never Go Back's Finger Picking One, it only actually has three chords, but we're not going to cover that one. That one's coming soon. Don't Stop and Go Your Own Way both have four chords, and we're also going to cover in this video I don't want to know which has three chords as well I'm sure all the rest will end up doing a tutorial for in the future because this album's fantastic ah look at them there this is my copy and if you don't have this on vinyl you definitely should and rumors nope it was all true so let's learn some of these great songs This is second hand news many years ago, I think about a decade ago, about 10 years ago, I did a video for this one and it's still up there on YouTube, you can check it out for the full tutorial of this one, but the chords in this one are just E major, A major and D major, you can play it with open chords, it's in the key of A major, so that's the tonal center, and that strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, just in a loop. And the general chords I know there's nothing to see Someone has taken my place When times go bad When times go rough Won't you lay me down in the tall grass And let me do my stuff just the perfect album opener. Uh, yeah, full tutorial, I'll, I'll link to it in the description below, but let's crack on, we got lots to do. Next up is Dreams, and this one is a three chord song, commonly referred to as a two chord song, because we do uh, only have the A minor briefly, but there's this third chord of A minor. The other two chords are the F, or an F major seven. Played like this, super easy beginner option would be this, but I highly encourage this one. And then we have, you could even just slide that up by two frets, but anyway, you want to play a G, basically. And then we briefly have when the guitar solo part happens. We have this. This is where the lyrics start to happen and we got Stevie Nicks singing this wonderful song starting to really kick in some of the deeper subject matter in this tutorial. Again, rumours? Nope, all true. Again, we have a full tutorial for this one available on YouTube that I've already done. Things I want to talk about with this one are trying to get this one, two, three and four and on the F. Three and four and one, two, three and four and and getting that lift between the chords to make that super super easy you can learn this song in literally a couple of minutes if you get that happening so f major seven down 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 up down lift and then go to your g major lift that's how we make this change and you can do the same on really any song with open chords where we've got that strum on that and on the four and one, two, three and four and. Again, you can also do this slide, which is kind of cool to play about with. Now here you go again, you say you want your freedom. Well, who am I to keep you down? It's only right that you should play the way you feel it. But listen carefully now to the sound of your loneliness like a heart. And it just continues like this until the end of the chorus where we have an A minor chord. One, two, three, and then G. G and then F major seven. Same as that again. And that lead uses the A minor pentatonic scale. A 
minor scale in scale order, just without playing this note, the, uh, what's that, an E? Fret numbers wise for the tab, that would be eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, eight, seven, five, seven. Now let's have a look at Don't Stop, which uses four main chords for the main progression and the main part of the song. We have E major, D major, and A major, and then very briefly to a B major, which you could play as a bar chord or a power chord, or if you're still more at a beginner level and you don't want bar chords, you could use a B7. That's gonna work absolutely fine. Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't stop. It'll soon be here, it'll be here, better than before, yesterday's gone, yesterday's gone. A few embellishments we have there, we can use down, down, up, down, down, up, strumming. Down, up, down, down, up, down. You could even add in the kind of blues riff in there and we have just a couple of embellishments. The intro uses an E to an A chord, but it would be great if we could do an A chord anyway, how you want to play it, but uh, with the thickest E string ringing out. So we'd get an A over E, A forward slash E, which means an A chord, but with an E in the bass. And we also have this Lindsay Buckingham lead line, which is just, and then a quality solo in this one, but that intro. E note, bluesy uh, third fret bend. And then we're into the song. Then we have the solo, which I'll play on electric guitar. This is deceptively difficult, as are a lot of Fleetwood Mac lead lines. Simple notes. Hard to nail it, just anything like the legend that is Lindsay Buckingham. But E minor pentatonic scale is where we're at, starting off in shape one. Next up we have Go Your Own Weird, obviously one of Fleetwood Mac's greatest hits uh, and we have a nice like dual guitar part which I actually want to set up using my looper pedal so let's see if I can do this. <laughs> top of that we have capo third fret and then it's going to use the same three chords but appropriate to the capo which is a D. So what's happening there is the actual key of this song is F and then there's two chords were C and B. What we've done is put a capo third fret and then playing a D major chord which I can play just using my fingers because I'm practice a lot. That's the same as an F. So when I put the capo third fret, this is capo key of D, sound key of an F. If you were playing along with a piano, a bass, or if someone was singing, they're actually singing the key of F. Then we have A major, G major, and the only other chord in the song is B minor, which you can play B minor seven, as you guys that follow my channel a lot know already. B minor like an A major with your first finger up a string, third finger down a string. Don't play string six, that's a B minor seven. You can use it anywhere in the key of D major or the key of B minor. 
it's always a substitution for the B minor, basically. And it's a B major seven, but without the first finger, which makes it a minor seven. Simple. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You can call it us to song number five i don't want to know capo fourth fret puts this in the very guitar friendly key of g major g d major and c major three chords you can play the whole song intro riff was G, D, C, D, C, D, and then the second time around it's G, D, C, D, D. So in total, two, three, four. That happens twice, watch out for those mutes. It is basically between every chord. And then we just have the simple G, D, C, D. I don't want to know the reason why love keeps right on walking down the line. I don't want to stand between you and love for me. I just want you to feel fine. Then we get to the chorus and it's G, C, D, G, C, D, fancier way of doing it. That's with this George Harrison way of playing in G major without the first finger and adding a G sus4. Straight to a C after that and then to D. the whole song let me know which is your favorite song off of rumors and which one was your favorite out of these three and four chord songs let me know any other video requests you'd like in the comments below and i will see you next time